You're listening to TSMN Podcasts. Please stand by. I am Bark. Hello, Dr. Paraklova. Hello, Bark. My young apprentice. Yes, I am here. I've received an audio transmission from Troy, Michigan. Yes, yes, it is from Simran about her latest STEM club learning adventure. Please do send it along, Vark. Transferring via FTP, I am Vark. Thank you, Vark. Standing by. Hello, everyone. I am Simran from Troy, Michigan. Last week, I had Marilyn Santo at my STEM club, and this week, I bring you to another great speaker. His name is Dr. George Angelman, who is a paleontologist and a geologist. He shared his incredible journey with us at my STEM club. We were so inspired from him, and I will be sharing my learning with you all. Hi, I'm Ashley, and you're listening to The Science Show on the radio. Please stay tuned. And now, here's the host of the show, Dr. Paracoba. Hello, Sibrin. Hello, Dr. Paracoba. Thank you for joining me today, Sibrin. I understand that you'll be sharing some of your learning from your recent STEM club session with Dr. George Angelman, who is a paleontologist. That's right, Dr. Parkova. Splendid. Can you share your learning with us today? Yes, I would be happy to. Thank you. Hi, I'm Annie Kali, and you're listening to The Science Show on the radio, right here on TSNN Podcasts. Dr. George Angelman is a vertebrate paleontologist who is a professor of geology at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. He has had a career-long interest in the evolutionary relationships and history of vertebrates and has especially studied fossils. He discussed human evolution and Darwin's theory of natural selection with us. 200 years ago, there were not many fossils available to form the basis of evolution. Instead, evolution was studied by observing features of animals and plants. These include the commonality of features among diverse organisms that have become the basis for classification, structural homologies, even in complex organs with very different function, the retention of features that preserve little of their function as seen in other organisms. For example, all vertebrates share bony skeletal elements and a spine consisting of vertebrae and all tetrapods have walking limbs with feet and toes and except snakes which have lost their legs. Dr. Angelman also discussed homologous structures which retain similar details even though they are adapted to perform different functions. For example, look at the forelimb of a bird, whale, cow, frog, bat, lizard and a human. They have all have the same number and arrangement of the four limb bones, but they perform different functions. His advice to us was to try and learn about a lot of different things and have a broader learning experience. He said it's good to learn about dinosaurs, but to really learn about them, you need to know more about geology and other sciences too. He also emphasized on being better writers and communicators. It was a lot of fun learning about geology. I'm Brent, and you're listening to The Science Show on the radio with your host, Dr. Perkova, right here on TSMN Podcasts. I'm Brent, here's Dr. Perkova. Thank you very much, Simran, and indeed, Thank you to Dr. George, who is surely an incredible scientist. We wish him all the best. You're welcome. I learned so much. Thank you, Simran, for joining me today on the Science Show on the radio. I'm Dr. Nigel Perakova. Please keep reaching for the stars.